Simon's currently got serious boat problems. He's had to turn around and find a new route to Paris due to the canals drying up. But this hasn't deterred him from continuing his gastronomic journey through the Champagne region of France. Smells fantastic, doesn't it? However, in exchange for a wedding invitation, he's agreed to make a pièce montée. I'll bring the cake. And you can have a, you have a big party with us. A pièce montée is an incredibly elaborate traditional French wedding cake, and it's something that Simon's never attempted before. And he's got just 48 hours to pull it off. To help him in his mission, Simon has come to a celebrated patisserie in Epinay. Bonjour. 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 Hello. Monsieur Dallet. Monsieur Dallet is reputed to be the chocolatier enfant terrible of Champagne, and he's agreed to help Simon. Good. Well, the jacket fits, but is Simon confident that he has the skills to do the job? I have the basics. I'm learning them years ago. But quite how a specialist does it is a, is a different thing. First up is the choux pastry for the profiteroles. It's a mixture of egg, sugar, flour and water, and plenty of elbow grease. Quickly, quickly. Quickly. Having piped out the first few profiteroles, Monsieur Dallet leaves the rest to Simon. Voilà, maintenant, 200. 200. 200. Encore, 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 Next up is a sticky mixture called nougatine, which is used to help bind the profiteroles together. It's basically made of sugar, 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 and more sugar. Pure glucose sugar. Then it's the creme patisserie, a custard-like mixture that forms the filling for the profiteroles. Oh, yeah, that's it. Beautiful, you see, it's good, it's good, it's good. Ah, voilà. uh, that's the one you did. Voilà, encore 10 minutes, encore, hein? 10 minutes. We've got our shoe buns just in the oven now. They're starting to rise up beautifully. The, uh, the caramel is reducing down for the nougatine. And we've got our creme patissier. So once we've got these three ingredients together, then we're going to let those cool down and then do the build up of our this monte tomorrow. With the clock ticking, has Simon done enough to impress Monsieur Dallet? Yeah. Il travaille bien. Il a, il a la touche du, du cuisinier, il a la touche du pâtissier. Non, non, bien. Il n'y a pas de faute. C'est bien. Il observe aussi. Ah, C'est très, très bien. Voilà. Okay. One, two. All that remains is for Simon to prepare the thick treacle base so that it can harden overnight. Tomorrow, he'll have to erect the tower. <laughs> Blown away. Those skills are um, precious for me to see them, to learn them. Fantastic, isn't it? It's given me the confidence to walk into that wedding tomorrow with that cake, because I didn't have that, I must say, when I started this morning. Um, what a fantastic day. Whilst Simon is exploring the different cuisines of France, he also has to grab every moment he can to continue work on the boat. He has to design and install a kitchen to cook the food in what will be his floating restaurant when he reaches Paris. He's also managed to recruit some cheap labour. John is still travelling with Simon, but he's also found a French carpenter who's willing to help for free. What's going on is I've, I've kidnapped him and I've conscripted him... Cos I'm cheap. Cos he's very cheap. And I've put him to work in this uh, sweat box in the French heat wave to um, have a little start at building my kitchen. It's the day of the wedding, and Simon's already worried. There's a lot to do. Uh, and I'm really nervous about the wedding. You know, we've got to pull this off. Uh, I've had happier moments, I must say. With five hours to go, Simon's got to get cracking. He's got over 200 profiteroles to stuff and stick together. 
It's like making a giant cone out of ping pong balls. And with Monsieur Dallet watching his every move, Simon is feeling the pressure. The dernier. Hop. Ah, ouais. Pour la surprise. Ouais. Pour la surprise. <laughs> Pour la surprise. <laughs> With the tower complete, all that's left is to place the final dressings. After two days, and with the help of Monsieur Dallet, Simon has managed to pull it off. C'est fini. Fini. <laughs> He's also learnt a new skill, the art of elaborate cake making. Ah, très bien. But will it taste as good as it looks? It's 5 p.m. and Simon's managed to rush down from Monsieur Dallet to see the bride and groom officially married. There's a huge night ahead of eating, drinking and dancing. The cake's not due to be presented until after midnight and there's a champagne reception to go to first. Can Simon hold his nerve? I still think I'm more nervous than the groom. He's only got to get married and go do his stuff on his nuptial bed. I'm going to carry this good big cake into the thing. Michael, how are you? Good, good, Looking and fantastic. you? Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. How's it going? Yeah, everything's fine. Shaken? Everything's fine. The, the, the weather's perfect, and uh, yeah, all my day. friends and family, everyone is here. So. Looks fantastic, yeah. It's and you, everything's okay? We've just been rushing here because yeah. it's, uh, we've been working with Monsieur Dallet and uh -huh. building this cake. Yeah. Yeah, it's so just taking this long. To... Cake looks fantastic. Wicked. As the reception gets underway, Simon has the chance to experience French high society. And 500 bottles of vintage champagne have been put on ice. Champagne culture is having a desired effect. I'd better slacken off, actually, because I've got to carry the cake at some point. And, um, I really could mess this up if I can talk to it in. <laughs> Face first. Of course, there's always one tradition that's synonymous around the world. And there's always one eager bride to be. <laughs> Thankfully, when Monsieur Dallet arrives with the cake, Simon is still able to give him a hand. <laughs> <laughs> And with the party now in full swing, Simon's presentation of the cake is moments away. All he has to do is find someone to help him carry it in. As the guests make their way into the presentation room, finally his moment comes. The guests gather and Simon is seconds away from glory. Just to say thank you so much for inviting me here today. It's been a fabulous day to watch, to experience champagne culture. I, I think it's best. It's best. <laughs> it's my first French wedding. It's my first Pierce Monte. Uh -huh. It's been fantastic. Thank you. week in Champagne country, it's, uh, it's been mind-blowing, the people, the, um, the caves of Champagne, the, the celebration, it's been fantastic, I'm blown away, um, that was a pressure shock, I'm going for a long sleep and maybe a beer. Next time on Floating Kitchen, Simon's in Burgundy, coming to terms with pulling the trigger on the produce that we take for granted. He's then invited to serve it up to an aristocratic family who have yet to be convinced that an English chef can cut the mustard. 